Ah, oh, humbug. What was the original wording? I knew it. Another variant that was written into all the church texts by those pesky scribes. Bah, humbug. Here, take these documents right over to be mailed out. We need to be honest about the corruptions in our scriptures, especially to my biggest supporters. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Happy Christmas Eve, James White. Father, forgive them, forgive them. They don't know what they do, what they do. Father, forgive them, forgive them. Help me forgive them too. Father, forgive them. Father, forgive them. Bah, humbug. I should have known you were behind this, Dr. David Wood. You know this is a variant reading of the New Testament and not found in our earliest and best manuscripts. Not only would I never preach on it, but I would never sing it either. And I definitely don't want to hear it being sung. Now get out of here! Father, forgive him, for he does not know what he is doing. Jesus never said that! I rebuke you, Dr. David Wood. Father, forgive them in Luke 23, 34. Where's your evidence, Wood? Repent! Repent, James White! James! James! It's me. Don't you remember? I don't have much time. Lord, are you speaking to me? It's me, Bruce Metzger. Repent now, James. You still have time. I have come here to warn you. On each of three consecutive nights, you will be visited by a ghostly spirit. They will show you the error of your ways and document the textual evidence in support of Father Forgive Them in Luke's 23:34, as the original words in Luke's Gospel. What are you talking about, Bruce? My misinformed theories have condemned me, James. Now I must wander YouTube comment sections for the rest of time. You still have time. Don't you see, James? We have exalted ourselves like the popes of old over the text of Scripture and have declared what is and what isn't Scripture. How is this different to Rome's magisterium? Bruce, how can you say this? We are pioneers of our time, and we have begun to restore the Scriptures to its original form, which has been lost for the last 1600 years. Your research paved the way for this. I still don't understand. You will, James. I I'm out of time. Repent! But I am irrefutable! Father, forgive them. It's a variant. It's not in our earliest and best texts. My precious texts. James White, James White, wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Ah! What are these conspiracy theories you've been promoting, which speak out against Jesus's final words on the cross, found in Luke twenty-three thirty-four? Ah! 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 Uh, it's not in the earliest and best texts. So you reject the texts that have come down through the official apostolic churches which independently witness to this reading in Luke twenty-three thirty-four for texts of unknown provenance. 
Well, it, it, it must must have been added by, by scribes to all the known texts. More conspiracy theories, James. How did your pesky scribes get it into the majority of independent Greek, Latin, and Aramaic church texts in the ancient world without anyone ever noticing? Ah, uh, maybe they were ninja scribes. Who has bewitched you into believing these fairy tales? Why do you also reject the independent testimony of apostolic bishops and fathers of the church to include myself, Clement, Hippolytus, Origen, Eusebius, Hilary, Basil, Gregory Nyssa, Ambrose, Didymus, Chrysostom, Jerome, Augustine, Theodoret, John Damascus, and many others? Irenaeus, this is the consensus view of most modern textual critics of our day. But how many of your scholars studied with a man who was appointed by the Apostle John over the churches of Asia Minor like I did? Okay, Irenaeus, you got me there. But you're still wrong. Bah humbug! James, you also seem to be unaware of the historical situation in the second and third century that the apostolic churches were dealing with. Are you ignorant to the fact the Marcion mutilated the Gospel of Luke? Redacting passages of scripture he considered to be Jewish? Does not John Burgeon and Bart Herman both cite that the anti-Jewish sentiment of the second and third centuries as a major factor for this passage being removed from some biblical texts? Are you also blind to the fact that the first corrector on your precious text, Sinaiticus, removed Luke 23:34 from the text, clearly demonstrating an instance where this specific passage was removed from a biblical edition. I also wrote that the followers of Marcion also adduced an unspeakable number of apocryphal and spurious writings, which they themselves have forged to bewilder the minds of foolish men and of such as are ignorant of the scriptures of truth. Are you such a man as this, James? Being deceived by these apocryphal texts that cannot be shown to trace back to any official apostolic church? N no, no, never! I leave you with these parting words, James, as I need to be off. Why, when we appeal to the textual tradition of Luke 23:34, that has down in the ecclesiastical texts, which was guarded by the successions of elders in the apostolic churches, you oppose these textual traditions? Do you feel you are wiser than the elders of these churches? Before you answer, sleep on it. Now off to bed. Repent, Repent James White. James White. Repent! 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 You're wasting time, James White. Get up. Oh, no. Not again. I, I won't go with you. You have no choice. I have to show you how your theory fails. Stop. I don't have my coat. James, run over with me to the apostolic churches, in which the very thrones of the apostles are still preeminent in their places, in which their own authentic writings are read. See, we have the churches of Corinth, Philippi, Thessalonians, Ephesus and Rome. James, can't you see that the biblical scriptures that have come down through these historic churches to include other ancient witnesses all independently testify to Luke 23:34 as the original reading in their texts? Come, take a look, James. We have before us the historical ecclesiastical texts of the Greek Orthodox, the Latin Vulgate of Jerome, the Syriac Peshitta, the Harclean, the Palestinian, some of the Coptic Bohoric, the Slavonic, the Georgian, the Armenian, and the Ethiopian. These texts were all publicly read and all basically witnessed to this passage in Luke 23, 34. James, wouldn't this evidence be conclusive in any normal court of law? But you don't understand, Tertullian. Down through the ages, the churches corrupted the text of the New Testament, and readings such as Luke 23:34 and others were interpolated into the text over time. Don't you get it, Tertullian? We are trying to restore the text back to the original writings of the apostles. 
James, you seem to have forgotten that Marcion made the same accusation against the apostolic churches in the second century. And this is the same accusation you are charging the apostolic churches of. For Marcion argued in his antithesis that the gospel of Luke that was current among the apostolic churches was interpolated by the defenders of Judaism. Marcion also claimed that he too was trying to restore the text to the original writings of Paul. But Marcion was a Gnostic. We can tell by his theology that his text was incorrect. Who has fooled you into believing that the text of scripture is determined by one's theology? We get our theology from the text, not the other way around, James. For in the case of Marcion, each side claimed to possess the true gospel text of Luke. And presently, James, we find ourselves in the same situation regarding this passage in Luke 23, 34. So whose rending of the text is correct? And by what criteria do we solve for the original reading? Tertullian, we have developed a reasoned, eclectic approach to determine the original readings of the text. Look, I have the book right here in my back pocket. Please, tell me, James, how do you get reasoned eclecticism from Sola Scriptura? Hmm, I can't seem to find it. Uh, I guess it's not in my handbook. Come, see, James, how our methods are not only historic, but are also grounded in the sure warrants of Scripture. For when Irenaeus states that the tradition of the apostles made clear in all the world can be clearly seen in every church by those who wish to behold the truth, it takes on the same meaning as when Paul exhorts the Thessalonians to stand fast and hold the traditions which ye have been taught, whether by word or our epistle. For the tradition Paul and Irenaeus speak of is the scriptures which were commonly received by the apostolic churches and have come down to us today. This is why I appeal to Marcion in my fourth book to examine the textual tradition that was commonly received by the official churches of Paul naming the apostolic sees of Corinth, Galatia, Philippians, Thessalonians, and Ephesians, because the churches of God basically witnessed to the same text, whereas Marcion's text that was shorter yet not better was unknown. For this is the faith as Jude states that was once received by the saints that we contend for. This is the method that ruled out Marcion's shorter biblical edition, and this is the same method that defines the canon. And this same method validates Luke 23:34 as the original reading in the gospel text. I leave you with this, James. If you accept the canon of the New Testament, which is validated by this method being attested by the independent apostolic churches, why then do you reject this same method and these same churches in regards to the text of the canon? Can you see your hypocrisy and how inconsistent you are? Spirit? Is, is, is that me? Please, Spirit. Please. Spirit, I don't want to see this. Please, take me away! David, we must be honest about the corruptions in the New Testament. Father, forgive them is a variant reading. The enemies of Christianity have a right to know. It's true whether I say it or not. Spirit, why am I not providing the evidence for the other side? Is my bias preventing me from seeing the truth? Spirit, please take me away! Spirit? Why have you brought me here?
I am just trying to restore the text to the original form. Why doesn't anyone understand that Luke 2334 is an interpolation? And there are many more interpolations just like this passage in the New Testament text. Spirit, you agree with me? Spirit, do you think we can restore St. Luke to its original form? Spirit, this is amazing! You're handing me a second century copy of St. Luke's Gospel? Wow! The text is shorter! I knew it! Shorter and earlier are better! I'm going to be the envy of my peers! And finally, everyone will have to listen to me! This proves that the Church interpolated the New Testament scriptures. Spirit, I can't thank you enough! Can I at least have your name, so I can properly thank you for all your help? Marcion of Pontus! This can't be! I'm nothing like you! My methods are different. I'm using a different approach. Spirit, get me out of this nightmare! Spirit, let me out! I don't want to be here anymore! Let me out! Help! It was just a dream. None of it was real. I'm okay now. It was just a dream. When will James White actually wake up from the dream world that he is living in, and deal with the historical evidence that clearly demonstrates that Father Forgive Them is the original wording in St. Luke's Gospel, which was handed down in the texts of the Greek, Latin, and Aramaic Apostolic Churches? I guess we will never know. Bah humbug! they do what they do Father forgive them forgive them help me forgive them too forgive them too